One of the most difficult to diagnose of plant diseases is viruses. And there are many viruses around these days to infect your favorite plants. Some viruses come from unrelated species, some develop within the species, but the reality is there are viruses all over the place. You could literally touch a cigarette and then go pinch a plant and pass tobacco mosaic virus to that strain. Viruses are transmitted through contact, like bodily fluids. So basically, it's scissors, it's your fingers, and then there are some pests that can pass viruses, like thrips. Thrips have a rasping mouthpiece which scrapes the chlorophyll from plant material while they exchange bodily fluids with your plant. So essentially, the thrips are instrumental in passing viruses. If you have thrips, chances are you have a virus. And it seems like over 50% of the plants that are available today have viruses. Now, sometimes if the plant is weak, the virus symptoms are very severe. If the plant is strong, sometimes we don't even see symptoms, we don't even know we have them. So what are these symptoms? We can see things difficult to diagnose things, like the curling of leaves. Some people call them ram's horns. We can see twisting of leaves, straight up hooking to the right or the left, very aggressively. We can see weird, mottled, yellowing. So if you're looking at a plant and the yellowing is not consistent, it's what we call mottled, then there's a good chance you're looking at a viral infection. And you can beat your head against the wall trying to deal with it as a nutrient deficiency, but reality is it will not go away. There isn't really a way to get rid of it. So what we can do is we can make life perfect for the plants so we can still get a decent yield. This is entirely possible with viruses. It doesn't mean you won't get a good yield. So don't get too worried. Really, it's about making the environment perfect and then you can still get good results. Having said that, we're definitely better off to put time into breeding and giving back to the plants that give so much to us so we can get beyond the prison of viral infections.